are now preparing to help small businesses crushed by the health crisis. 44 News reporter Joe Downs has the latest on the efforts to bail out some southern Indiana businesses. Small businesses are really the backbone of of um, the, you know, the economy and any, really any economy, right? And right now, as we close in on the one-year anniversary of the coronavirus pandemic, that backbone needs more propping up. And that's why State Representative Shane Lindauer of Jasper has co-authored a bill to add $30 million from the general fund to Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb's Small Business Restart Grant Program. It's a program specifically designed to offer grants to small businesses with 100 employees or less. I've got numbers from small businesses that have impacted in my area, you know, in, in the district that I represent. And, and so I know that the program that has been in existence has been helpful. I think most entrepreneurs never look for a handout. You know, they're, they're looking for that hand up. And I think this is hopefully what that does. Mary Rosek, the bookkeeper and salesperson at Southwest Graphics on Franklin Street, a business that sells school and business logo, clothing and products, knows that feeling all too well. A lot less T-shirts made for different purposes like uh, runs and everything has been cut back and everything, so it's kind of hurt us. Mary believes Lindauer's bill would help provide a bridge for small businesses like hers to get to a better place. I think it would help, yes, the day-to-day -day business stuff. With this economy going like this now, it would help tremendously. Now, Southwest Graphics isn't the only business that has felt the bite from the coronavirus pandemic economy. In fact, most of the businesses here on Franklin Street have told me that their business is down about 20% on average, though most of them have been able to survive making changes here and there. However, all of them agree they can't wait to return to normalcy and get back to business as usual. Since we're getting the vaccines, hopefully people get out and start shopping and actually try stuff on. I certainly would like to think we'll get back there. The intent of the bill is, uh, is again, to, to help us get back there. The bill is expected to pass in the House, and then it's on to the Indiana State Senate, and then finally Eric Holcomb's desk. Reporting from Evansville, Joe Downs, 44 News.